Welcome back to Techno Babylon. It's been a couple weeks since I've played this game, so I might be a little bit lost, but hopefully my break has made it so I can come back to this with fresh eyes and not be so frustrated like I was before. We'll see. I'm hoping. Although it might just manage to re-frustrate me all over again. But I do remember that we came here to meet with Nina Zhang, and then somebody blew themselves up and tried to kill the people here, and, well, they actually succeeded in killing one person. And we are on a bit of a murder mystery trying to figure out exactly who did it. From these four suspects. Councilman Dean, Xiao Man, or Xiao Man, Xiao Man, something like that, Nina Zhang, and Liam Stepford, the creepy synth. And at the moment, we have no evidence on any of them. So let's try to find some evidence. At the end of the last episode, I think I talked to every single person. Or at least the main characters. So the talking's out of the way. Now I just need to find physical evidence, I suppose. So let's take a look around. An aquarium, now cracked open from the blast, several luminous fish orbit each other, reminding you of one of your training projects when training as a Genjineer. A label sits beneath the tank. Please do not touch the glass. These specimens are aggressive and startle easily. <laughs> These fish are not a menu item. Human meat is on the menu, but not fish. Ow! Hey! You attempt to grab one of the fish with your bare hands? Was unsuccessful. Apparently, the creatures have a taste for your flesh, and have left tooth marks to prove it. Hmm. I wonder if I can, if I had the right tool, if I could grab one of them. And what would be the point of that? The guard keeps watch at the bottom of the stairs. Excuse me. Yes. What's the situation? Perimeter secure. Guest behavior with intolerable parameters. I guess that's one way of putting it. The guards are synths, right? I think they are. Are you alright? That was quite a blast. Systems operating at 97%. Mm -hmm. I see. You synthetics give me the creeps, you know that. Huh. Guess you're not easily riled up. Are you alright? Systems up. I use. Huh. Oh, that's weird that you can keep asking that. I wonder if you can. I wonder if that implies something. If you can keep asking if you're alright, does that imply that. I need to make him not alright? Or something? To have something happen? Did you see the bomber when he came in? Negative. His appearance was a match for a member of the serving staff. And you call yourself a bodyguard. It is likely that the suspect prepared this operation in advance. To achieve this, he would have to supplant a member of staff before our arrival. Question is, where did he hide the waiter he replaced? Hmm. Good point. Let's see if we can go find the body. Keep up the good work. Like many places in this city, the restaurant has a unisex bathroom. A concept you've never quite come to terms with. <laughs> really, Regis? <laughs> Th that just blows your mind, a unisex bathroom? Error. Small cabinet. No doubt for storing cleaning supplies when not in use. This is probably the sort of place that does it by hand. Could the body be in there? There's the remains of a first aid kit in here. Someone's used all of the med patches and pseudoderm spray. Must have had an injury. The only item left is a bottle of harsh smelling toilet cleaner. Am I gonna make a bomb or something? What the hell else gonna do with toilet cleaner? I mean, isn't it a thing where if you mix toilet cleaner with... Is it aluminum? I know you can mix toilet cleaner with something and... Bad stuff happens. A powerful combination of bleach, enzymes, and antimicrobial wetware designed to kill bacteria and plumbing. It makes a lot of scientific sounding claims on the label. Smells vaguely of lemon before the aftertaste of chlorine hits. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I suppose I could pour it in the tank of fish to kill them? I don't see why I would do that though, that just sounds cruel. Apparently this mirror is having a software error. Hmm. Huh. Before I came to Newton, that sentence wouldn't have made any sense to me. <laughs> Sorry, cannot reflect at this time. Please restart for Windows Update. Hygiene is important, especially around food. A 
good old vent. Ooh, it looks like it's a little off kilter. Maybe the body's stored in there. Hmm. It's already been open. The toilet stalls are equipped with smart privacy screens. The lack of doors still bothers you somehow, though. Oh, so I guess if you walk inside of them, they automatically have a little, like, door thing go across. To give you privacy. Alright, what's in the vent? Where does this go? That's a big vent, by the way. Like, that is unnaturally huge. Vents just don't need to be that big. I can't see a damn thing in here. It feels like the cover to the outside vent, but I can't see a thing. Hmm. Seems like there'd be enough light in here to see some stuff. You briefly contemplate making an escape through the roof access, but then you'd lose your best lead. I don't have a light, do I? Yeah, I guess not. You feel around in the musty blackness, but can't identify anything useful. And there's a little light over here, but I can't do anything with it. I can't see a damn. Maybe at some point I. Oh wait, wait a. Are you fucking kidding me? The luminous fish. Okay, Marshall, keep your cool. Surely the game would not have you murder luminous fish with toilet cleaner so that you can light up a dark room. Right? Right? Surely that's not a thing. Right? I mean, if you're in the future and you need light, there's gotta be a simpler way than murdering luminous fish. I'm pretty sure flashlights exist in the future. I am trying to convince myself that that is not the solution. But I cannot avoid the suspicion, which is not a word by the way, that it is the solution. I'm gonna try this solution. Ugh. I'm not sure what that would involve. Okay. At least I don't have to murder the fish with toilet cleaner. But I still get the feeling I'm gonna have to grab a luminous fish. Ow! Hey! Oh my god, I think that's actually going to be a solution. Jesus Christ. Let's see what's in the kitchen. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Um, okay, I know this place serves human meat, and the human meat is supposed to be... Um, what's it called? Uh, grown? Grown human meat, like it's not from actual human bodies? But these look like actual human bodies. Or do they mean they actually grow the human bodies and then take the meat from them? But then... No, wh what the fuck is this? With his precision tools and hygiene mask, it's almost unclear whether he's a surgeon or a chef. I would like to have some words with you. Excuse me. Yes? I'm Dr. Regis. Nina's asked me to investigate the explosion. A cell agent? Well, alright. Just be careful what you touch. This place is half kitchen, half lab. There are human bodies in your kitchen. Yes, there are. It's a freezer. What are you, the food inspector? Give me a good reason I shouldn't haul your ass down to cell. It's all legal. I guarantee. They're annual clones, grown without brain tissue. I know what it means. Oh. I guess the presentation was a shock. That is so fucked up. So they're human in, I guess, every way. They're clones of humans, except they just lack the brain tissue, so they were, they were never alive to begin with. They can't think. They never had consciousness of any sort. But that is so fucking sick. It's so creepy. Ugh. Why is this restaurant serving cloned human tissue? I trained in engineering at Darwin. We'd flash grow human bodies to test DNA alterations. So I guess human tissue is what I'm most familiar with. You're a engineer. 
Well, I dropped out before my PhD. I learned enough to sample DNA and use it to grow Flash clones. No kidding. My background's in engineering as well. You altered these bodies? None of these. They're all template. Caucasian, male, twenties, brown hair. This is quite the setup you've got. Combined sampler growth chamber? That's right. We usually use the template. Sometimes get specialist orders, though. Like if someone wants to eat themselves? Sometimes. We can ready up a new cadaver in about a week with it. I can't access cell at the moment. I might need to use your equipment. Do you have to? You know you'd have to flush the current growth. Sorry about that. Tell you what, Nina will reimburse you. Well, okay. Special order human bodies to eat. Jesus. Going from engineering to catering, that's quite a switch. Most of my family are cooks. They run a restaurant in Vietnam. When I was at med school, someone found out about my family, dared me to make something out of human muscle tissue. And? And it turned out my human bolognese was really, really good. Not just being immodest or anything. You said you dropped out. Is that why? Yeah. Turns out the academy had regulations about improper disposal of remains. But now I had an idea, and I knew there'd be a market for it somewhere. My family are great chefs, and I can make human bodies. Bingo. You found your niche. I wonder what his family thinks about what he does. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't tell him. Just says, I'm a chef. I cook. It wouldn't be a lie. A suicide bomber attacked the gathering upstairs. He was disguised as one of your waiters. Whoa. I wondered what that was. What did he look like? Blonde. About 1.65 meters. Might have looked uncomfortable. Or limping. Huh. Biobomber? That's right. How did you guess? You mentioned the limp. They've got pretty serious health problems, don't they? Yeah. He might have replaced one of your staff. Huh. They all checked in. If he incapacitated one of your staff, can you think of where they'd do that? It'd have to be somewhere you could hide a body, I guess. Is this just gonna redo the question? A suicide bomber. He was disguised as... Yeah, what? what that, huh. If he... Inca It'd have... You get a lot of clandestine meetings like this taking place? You'd be surprised. This place is popular with the wealthy. Haven't had an assassination before, though. You know what they're discussing up there. They don't tell me. And I don't ask about anything but their orders. Dr. Zhang pays me enough to know I probably shouldn't. What's with the bouncer? He came with Mr. Stepford's party, along with a few others. I think he was supposed to be guarding the kitchen, but... What happened? Well, he wasn't very talkative, but... After I started working, he just kind of zoned out. Couldn't get an answer out of him. I like the glowing fish in the tank you've got. Thanks! I made those myself. They were my first engineering project. Lucifer and Luciferase? From Fireflies? Well spotted. I imported the sequence into Red Snappers and kept them viable. Ten generations now! A lot of academies use those as a starter project, but that's impressive. We keep them as a reminder of where we came from. Or, in case the power goes out. <laughs> and I guess that's my extra little hint that I do need to use them for that dark room, huh? Look, I could even ask about it again. Yeah, I definitely need to use them. The sequencer is a different model to my usual. Cell's probably got something more impressive than that thing. You have to purge the current project before you can do anything. Then you can submit genetic material to start a new growth project. What kind of material will it take? Blood, dermal tissue, almost anything. Makes it easier to get a sample from customers. What's your advice for cooking human meat? Planning on going into competition with me? Well, you know how they say everything tastes like chicken? It's actually better if you treat human tissue like pork. Like pork? Yeah. Sausages, slices, filet. There's a lot you can do with it. It's restaurants like this that make me glad everyone in this city just uses auto meals these days. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It's not harming anyone after all. Something about it still doesn't feel right. You probably don't feel nearly so angry talking to me as those auto meal personalities, right? You have a point. That's true, and it is true that they're not hurting any actual living person, but... I gotta be honest, like, I can't think of any real 
specific moral reason why this would be wrong, but I do know that it is incredibly disgusting. It is revolting. Thanks. Whatever I can do to help. Hey, stop the carousel. What's wrong? These bodies are supposed to be clones, right? So why is this one blonde? Oh, God. Henry. Oh, that's the body. What happened to him? He's taken a nasty blow to the head. Looks like it's the hypothermia that's finished him, though. Oh, hell. Why'd they leave him in the freezer? Best place to hide a tree is a forest. Best place to hide a body is with a whole lot of other bodies. Why Henry? He was such a nice boy. Same hair color as the bomber. Whoever's behind this took his uniform for the bomber's disguise. Somebody would have seen him being dragged across the restaurant. He must have been killed in here. I'll find who's behind this. I gotta be honest, I didn't actually examine that body because I noticed it was different. I just wanted to examine the bodies. So, I actually got lucky there. I might have easily missed that. Nothing on him except his underpants. The island in the center of the kitchen is apparently where most of the work takes place. Covered in tools and half-prepared meals. Bone saw and glass jar. Oh, maybe I can use the glass jar to get one of the glowfish. Don't know what to do with the bone saw, though. It's a flash growth chamber for sampling DNA and growing specimens. I've seen a lot of these in my career, but never in a restaurant. Rapid tissue growth slash sequencer. Current project, blah, blah, blah. Quickening is underway. Cavitation? What does that mean? Cavitation. Alright, well, there's no reason to purge it just yet, because I don't have anything that I need to grow right now. Although I'm sure I will in the near future. Deactivated guard. Oh, so I guess whoever killed the person probably deactivated the guard. The guards you've seen so far have appeared menacing and alert. This one is slumped over forwards. Hello? Huh. It's like someone just hit his off switch. Can we do anything with the uh, CI splitter? Mine say download failed. Security P153. Hmm. Not sure if there's something I could do about that. Um, I suppose I could go ask... What's his name? Liam Stepford. He might know. Guess that's it for in here. Let's go see if we can get one of these fish. You try to scoop up the fish in the jar, but their movement is a great deal more swift and graceful than your own. <laughs> so I've got to do more. I'm pretty sure they do need to go inside of this jar, but I need to do something more. An empty glass jar. According to the label, it used to contain spices. Now do I pour the toilet cleaner? Ugh. Nah. Okay. Do I kill the fish with a bone saw? That wouldn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. Do I kill the guard with a bone saw? Uh, you're what not gonna you try it, are you? This? Please address all exigent queries to Mr. Stepford. Okay, good. I was worried he was gonna try to, like, like hit him in the back of the head with a bone saw while he wasn't looking. That would not be very smart. Hmm. Yeah, let's ask Stepford about the deactivated guard. Mr. Stepford, can I have a moment? Oh my, yes! I forgot how annoying your voice was. I found one of your heavies in the kitchen. Looks like something's knocked it out cold. Oh my, a technical fault, no doubt. May I ask you to show me the defective platform? Sure. I guess. Excellent. We can't have our firm slandered by accusations of low-quality units. Of course. Come on down. Don't 
Dr. Regis, I... Oh, my... Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, I know what's going on. The cavity magnetron in the growth array. It generates a huge mag flux in here. It broke them? Is it permanent? What do I look like, a tech? So if I flush it, will that fix it? <laughs> Literally just flushes the body away. Hmm. Well, that didn't seem to fix it. Um... Do I need to get inside of the vent to fix it, perhaps? Mr. Stepford? Hmm. Nope, he hasn't got anything I can use. Not unless I want a really lousy suit. <laughs> can I download you? Ooh, I did get them. I guess I maybe needed to do that. It's got to be important for something, but I just wonder what. And I still can't do the guard, right? This synth is corrupted. I can't rebuild its mind. Yeah. So... The brain's corrupted. I can't restart it. Hmm. Don't know what the heck I'm going to do with this. Any ideas, chef? Excuse me. Yes. Apparently not. Thanks. Whatever I... I think there's some more stuff up here that I didn't interact with. Like the cooler, for example. The bottles in the cooler are no more than a mess of glass shards and spilled liquor. Oh. I think I did actually look at that before. Hello? Though obscured by his dark glasses, you can tell that the guard is staring right through you. Oh, I think I looked at them before too. Yep, they have nothing to say. Um, mm, can I cut a piece off of you? I can't figure that out. Okay, can I cut a piece off I of you? I can't figure that out. Okay, I don't know what the bone saw's for. It's a mystery. I've already cut... I'm not sure what I was... I don't know what to do. Nothing on it I can use. I'm not exactly equipped to repair synthetics. Let's see if there's anything new to say to anybody. Nina. Charlie. That's... Get me... Nothing there. Doctor... Nothing I'll there. He probably has nothing to say Mr. either. Mr. Ron. What? Nope. I'll get... Okay, so I need the fish, but I don't know how to get them. I need to go inside of the vent in the bathroom for some reason. I don't know why. Any credible hospital would use an automated surgical array to make amputations, but I've seen a few cases out in bandit country where a saw had to do. Since the subjects in this case are cadavers, there's probably a lot more room for being... Whoops. I, I didn't mean to stop that. Um... Could I grow the person that was killed? Wait. Where's the person who was killed? They're not here anymore. They were right here. W uh, what happened? It's too big. To it's too big. Am I seriously about to cut one of their limbs off? Oh, here goes. Why am I doing this? You carve a slice from the cadaver. The nausea welling up reminds you why you went into genetic medicine, rather than the macro scale. Slice of meat. What am I doing with the meat? Can I stuff it in the jar to use it as bait for the fish? You stuff the slice of meat into the open bottle. Oh my god, that is it? Seriously? This is fucking disgusting. With the bait in place, the fish eagerly crowd around the bottle. When one adventurous soul takes the plunge, you hoist him from the water within the jar. Oh my gotcha. god. 
Oh my god. That is... The solution is even crazier than I thought. I thought you'd have to kill the fish using toilet cleaner or something and then use their carcasses in the jar. Or just not even use them in the jar, maybe just hold them or something. But you actually have to use a bone saw to carve off a slice of meat from a cloned cadaver. Stuff it into a jar that used to house spices. Spices. Use that to get the fish. Use the meat as bait to get the fish inside of the jar, and then use that as a light in a dark room. Can somebody explain how nobody has any light producing things of any sort in the entire restaurant? Nothing. Nothing you have makes light. There's no easier way to get light inside of a room than to cut off meat from a cadaver, stuff it into a jar, get a genetically modified glowing fish to take the bait and go into the jar and use that as a light source. There's no easier way, that's what you're telling me, game. Nothing. Nothing. Your little traveler thing doesn't have any sort of a light? It doesn't like... doesn't it put out like a holographic thing? And if you can see the holographic thing, then I'm sure it produces light. Why not just turn that on? Or anything. Like almost anything electronic will make some sort of light. Or somebody would have a flashlight or... Jesus Christ. Anything. Anything. This is insane. It didn't even produce that much light. It's like a glow stick. A frayed cloth rucksack is bundled against the wall. It's covered in sewn-on patches of Christian iconic, um, iconography. Hmm. What's in it? The bomber's bag. Likely this used to contain supplies to aid the bomber in remaining undercover in the city of heathens. And now the only thing remaining is a handwritten note. Note to bomber. A crumpled note found in the bomber's possessions, apparently from whoever hired him. It says... Time has come, tonight. 2200 at 1181 Shenley. Service entrance C on roof. Will open for you from inside. Will open for you from inside. So somebody opened the way for the bomber. G B W U. What does that stand for? I'm gonna write that down because that is important. G B W U. Ow! Hey, that's sharp. The vent cover's been unlatched from the inside. The bomber must have gained entry through here. Whoever their accomplice on the inside was did a number on their hand. The vent's cover's got a sharp edge, and is still wet with blood. Hmm. Is that what all of that red stuff is? I thought it was rust, but if that's blood, that's a lot of blood. Okay, well we need that sample of blood, right? Yeah! Okay, so this could be really cool. If we get a sample of their blood and grow them, we can see who the killer is, because we're going to grow their body, and, and then we'll see who it matches, right? That's going to be so cool. Uh, but what do I use to, like, take a sample? Ow! Soak it in the note or something? I'm not sure what I... I don't know. There's nothing else. That's not... Nah. Hmm. What do I do with it? It's got... Yeah, how do I how do I get the sample? The vent cover's been whoever there a comp the vent's cover's got a sh I definitely need that sample. But yes, how do I get it? Let's be sanitary, wash our hands. I feel like I'm missing one item, like one small item. Uh, a Q-tip or something. There's gotta be something in the kitchen for it. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Let's see if I missed anything the here. The sequencer is a different model. So you have to purge the current, then you can submit genetic. What kind of blood makes it easier? Mm hmm. A suicide. You that you may Thanks. Whatever. Still need something. That didn't help at all. There's nothing more in the counter. Anything? Mr. Stepford? Hmm. Anything in nope. Stepford's pocket? He hasn't got anything I can use. Not unless I want a really loud. What about the guard? Hello? Huh. It's like. Doesn't even check his pockets, so well. Yeah, I need, like, I don't know, a Q tip or something, or however you submit samples to the growth chamber. I need that. Cloth? No, cloth isn't a hotspot. Welp, I'm going to take a look around, and I'll be right back. Hmm, I can ask this guy about the vent. I've discovered how the bomber managed to get into the restaurant. Apparently, someone here let them in through the vent in the bathroom. A sound approach. They could enter unseen if they did it before Mr. Stepford's men arrived. Whoever opened it did a number on their hand. Left a lot of blood. You wish to check my hands, Dr. Regis? Nah, whoever it was will have slapped on a medipatch. Any visible injury will be gone in ten minutes. How unfortunate. I'll get back to you, Counselor. Anything I can do to help, Dr. Regis? And for some reason, he's the only person I can ask about the hands, and he wasn't even helpful about it. So, I'm not really sure what the point of that was. Picked up tissue paper. Ah, uh, you have to use the toilets to pick up tissue paper. Uh, why not, why not just... I don't have the strength to even criticize that. It, the problem with that is pretty much self-evident. I'm remembering why I took a break from this game. This game is going to drive me insane. It's going to drive me crazy. You run the tissue along the bloodied edge of the grate, taking as much still moist blood as possible. The way out. Let's go grow it. There's a cloth right there. There's there's a cloth. I could get cloth anywhere. I could tear off a strip from somebody's shirt, from one of the bodies. I, there's cloth everywhere. A Q-tip would do. Anything absorbent would do. This note would do. You could soak blood into the note. I mean... genome taken from the blood on the vent. The fact that the accomplice had an XY chromosome and was therefore male narrows the pool of suspects. Indeed. Case file updated. Finally, I've got my first piece of evidence. Male. Bummer's accomplice was male or synth male. Okay, so I just eliminated Nina. Hmm. If I could examine what I just downloaded from Stepford, then I could eliminate or confirm them. Yeah, so all that, all that that I just did was only to eliminate one person out of four. That really didn't accomplish that much. And what the heck am I still supposed to do with the toilet cleaner and the bone saw? A crumpled note. I mean, this must mean something, the GBWU. It's gotta be usable somehow. Hmm, can I contact anyone? Hello, you there? Regis, I heard a blast. Is everything alright? A bomber. Someone targeted this get-together. 
Want me to call it in? Maybe now is when we should get Central involved. No. I've got it covered for the time being. If Central asks, you know nothing. Got it. I'm pretty sure the light from that little holographic thing would have been enough to illuminate the room. Let's talk to Central. That's a terrible idea. I'm not prepared to turn myself into Central yet. They'd never believe me. News. Pointless. Little game. Pointless. Is this new? I doubt there's a point to reading this right now. Probably not. Yeah, so how would I, like, examine the personality? Um... Can I just plug it into one of the working guards? Uh, hey, who's that? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, what am I trying to accomplish here? The guard will tell you anything you want to know, right? So leave them, leave them as the role of a guard the personality of a guard, but the memory of Stepford? And I can ask them whatever question I want? Excuse me. Yes. I found one of your buddies in the kitchen. He doesn't look well. Please report technical issues to management. Who's in charge? Situational command has been assigned to Mr. Liam Stepford. Huh. Fancy taking orders from a guy like that. Are you alright? That was quite a blast. Systems operating. Hi, you synthetics. Huh. Keep up. That didn't seem to do anything. Uh. What if I give you the personality of Stepford as well, but still the role of a guard? Excuse me. Oh my, yes. Oh god. What's the situation? Just dandy, my good man. Are you alright? My system log shows a mind state alteration made moments ago. I don't think it's anything to worry about. Just a little tweak. Oh my, yes. You sound really different from your colleagues. You know what they say, variety is the spice of life. Mm -hmm. I found one of your buddies in the kitchen. He doesn't look well. Oh dear, does Mr. Stepford know? He's a lovely man. He'll get sorted right out. Oh my, yes. Actually, he's kind of broken as well. You're wearing his personality. Well, that does explain a thing or two. Did you see the bomber when he came in? Oh my, no. That little sword must have gotten in before us. Well, that was funny, but also not very productive, unfortunately. <laughs> you sound... You know what they say. Keep up. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Oh my, yes. And I got a Steam achievement when I did that, so it might be a completely optional thing. Hmm. Should uh, I... Hey. Should I change the personality to something else, or should I try the other guard up there? Hmm. What if you can get some crazy combinations? What if you have the role of Stepford? The personality of the guard and the memory of Stepford? What the hell does that do? Excuse me. Yes. Nothing. Are you all Systems up. Uh, use. Huh. Keep. Let's try the guard upstairs. Whoops. Well, this synth is no doubt carrying a splittable personality. Deactivating a guard where all can see may alarm the other guests. True. What about you? Can I split you? Got no personality to split. What about the body? It's too badly damaged to get anything useful out of it. It's got no... So does that mean I need to do something more with the guard down here? Because I haven't gotten anything useful out of him yet. Uh... Memory of Stepford. Personality of Guard. Role of Stepford. I don't even remember which ones I've tried now. Excuse me. Yes. Keep up. 
Okay, I'm gonna find something, whatever I'm missing, and I'll be right back. Maybe I just need to make them completely Stepford. Uh. I don't know if I've tried that. I, I don't get the point of that, though. If I'm just trying to make a clone of Stepford, then what's the point? I already had Stepford to talk to. What could Stepford do that they couldn't do before? My word, this is a peculiar experience. Mr. Stepford. Oh my, yes. Thank you for your assistance, Dr. Regis. Do you know what happened? The chef mentioned something about Magflux. Allow me to check the crash log. Hmm. Yes, it appears that the kitchen was indeed saturated with a high-intensity magnetic field. No doubt from an item of hardware. They often pose a hazard to advanced synthetic platforms. You're okay, though. Quite so, thanks to your timely intervention. They really ought to have a warning sign in that kitchen. Oh my. So, synthetics can't operate in there? Oh my, no. A field of that strength is positively ghastly. Like working in a cloud of chlorine for men such as yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must change into something more comfortable. Hmm. We know the waiter was murdered within the kitchen. The mag field would be lethal to any synthetics trying to get in there. That means we can rule out Stepford as a suspect. True. Good, good, good. Okay. So it's him or him. I need one more piece of evidence, and obviously the toilet cleaner has something to do with it, but what? What in the hell am I going to do with toilet cleaner to find evidence? A powerful combination of bleach, enzymes, and antimicrobial wetware designed to kill bacteria in plumbing. It makes a lot of scientific sounding claims on the label. Smell. Hmm. Could that be related to the wound on the hands? I don't really see what that would do. But it does say... Hmm. It does say microbe killing, like, nano uh, wetware. Could that somehow reveal who recently cut their hands? But when I talk to Dean, it sounds like if somebody put a meta patch on, it would completely heal the wound over. So you wouldn't even be able to notice. Which means this wouldn't do anything. Can't do that. Can't do that. So, no, it's not for that. What the hell is it for, then? I can put the toilet cleaner in the toilets, but <laughs> that also seems pointless. That's not going. That'd be a. Can't do that. Am I about to pour it on the bodyguard? What do you make of this? Please address all exigent. Oh. Mr. Stepford, can I have a moment? Oh my yes. Feeling better? Oh my yes. My most sincere thanks, Doctor Regis. You have no idea how uncomfortable I find the wrong body. The outfit makes the man. Very literally in my case. I suppose I shall have to avoid the kitchen. I shall instruct the security platforms to do likewise. You're the one who found my embryos? Oh my, yes. We... Where are they? Dr. Regis, while it pains me to say this, we simply can't tell you. Then we would have no bargaining position. You lousy piece of... Please, Dr. Regis, be assured that they are in no danger at this time. Dr. Zhong is the one with whom you must discuss the release of the information. I have been asked not to speak any more of this matter. Oh my, no. I'll get back to you. Oh my, yes. Can I actually tell Nina, Nina anything about Charlie. it? Charlie. No, I can't. That's all. Get me in. Um, can I ask them about their hands Doctor again? Reed. I'll get any on you. I already spoke with you about your hands. What about you? Mr. What? Nope. I'll get stuck. Hmm. Can I compare handwriting or something? What do you make of this, Mr. Ron? What did it say? You can't read English? English second language. I got secretary for that. You don't say. Oh, ah, Dr. There you Regis, go. might I have a word in private? We're alone? As alone as we're going to get. What do you want? Your investigation is drawing to an end, is it not? Um... So I just basically eliminated the third person out of four, which guarantees that this is the guy who did it. And my character just instantly agrees to go into a room alone with the person that he now believes is the murderer? Are you serious? That doesn't make any sense at all. It's drawing to a close. Okay, well, this guy's trying to feel out if I'm... 
if I'm suspecting him, obviously, so I'm going to say, no, it's, it's not done. I have no idea who the murderer is. There still leads to chase up. Why? You are, without a doubt, a skilled detective, Dr. Regis. I am proud that the city employs only the finest. I believe that your inquiry will find only one credible suspect, myself. You're going to plead your innocence? Tell me it's a mistake? Not at all. You see, I am indeed responsible for the attack. Mm hmm You lied to us. The governor's a fake, then. I'm sure your voters would love to find that out. The governor is working as well as it ever has. I have not once lied to you, Dr. Regis. I asked you if you hired the bomber. I did not. My assistant hired the bomber, at my request. <laughs> Politicians. People have to phrase their questions to me very carefully. You'd better have a real good reason for all this. For various values of good. You recall Gil Vanderwall? Of course. Things have gone downhill since he got involved in my case. Two years ago, much to my shame, I did something terrible. I took part in a vote-fixing program for the Cosmopolitan Party, and they promised me this office in the next election. Gil discovered this and has been blackmailing me ever since. But why the suicide bomber? He realized that Nina's project might lead to his death. He was a spiteful man and he needed a guarantee that he could strike back against her if that happened. From beyond the grave. Essentially, I was his guarantee. He wanted you to kill Nina for him? Or materials he has on me would be released to the public. My career, my family would be ruined. So instead of turning you in, I should... Tell them that Ron Schumann was responsible. What? Frame an innocent man? You've spoken to him, Dr. Regis. He is a truly, objectively despicable individual. You're one to talk. What I've done was terrible, but I wish to make reparations for what I've done. After this is done, I shall devote my life's work to annihilating corruption in our city. Ron wishes no more than to desecrate and pollute our nation as he has done his own. You nearly killed us all with that bomber. I apologize most sincerely for that, Dr. Regis. Had I known someone such as yourself would be present, I would have found other means. Please, consider what this means for the city. Charlie, what have you found? I've completed my investigation. That was most swift. Though effective, I've no doubt. Who tried to kill us? After finding enough evidence to exclude all other parties. Am I even really considering? Taking down Ron? Nah. The only conclusion possible is that Counselor Dean is responsible. What? My word. Andrew, is this true? See? He not say anything. Otherwise, he have to tell truth. Yes. Yes, I am responsible. I acted to save my family from my mistakes. I joined this project to protect the city that I love. The rest of you are backstabbing cowards, out to loot Newton for your own gain. I'm sorry you feel that way, Counselor. That leaves us only one option, I'm afraid. Liam. What? What are you doing? Uh... Wait, stop! <laughs> Poor dear Counselor Dean. Tragically thrown from the building by the blast. This is... you're completely insane. We're doing what we have to, Charlie. As promised, the information you require. The man who has your kids, your mind jacker, is a contractor, Jayam Kressel. He's based out of an aerostat currently moored at the Xanadu dockyard. You haven't changed one bit, Nina. I hope you find what you're looking for, Charlie. Remember, I'm always here if you need my help. <laughs> Says that with a smile after murdering somebody. The, the uptake fuck is reports wrong with came that? in. Looks like there was a 99.1% volume of new code in the embryo. Well, that's fantastic. We'll have a viable specimen for testing within days. Yeah, and it wouldn't have had the same kind of uptake if it was one of the brain dead ones. So, how did you manage to score these full scope human embryos? It would have taken months to get approval from the city council, so we used our own. Yours. You and Charlie. They're healthy, and they got all the right uptake markers. Oh, I'm just kind of surprised Charlie agreed to it, given his previous line of work and all. You have told him, haven't you? I was going to find a way. That explains why he's on the warpath, then. Oh, nuke me. How did he find out? Vicky! Uh-oh. 
Dr. Chigua, may I speak to my wife? Charlie, you better not- Get out! Dr. Baxter just congratulated me on what a noble gesture I was making for science. Apparently, we volunteered our own embryos for engineering. She didn't tell him? I'm sorry I hadn't told you yet. Dr. Vargas was having enough trouble stalling the council. We needed to start showing results, so I made the decision for both of us. You didn't think I'd object if I knew beforehand? Well, no. Using our own embryos was the right thing to do to keep the project afloat. You have no idea what I'm upset about. Sure I do. You're mad because I didn't talk with you about it first. No! Well, yes, I am, but that's not why I feel like this. I understand. It was a big decision. We've invested a lot of time and energy into having kids. I'd probably be upset in your position, but I'd have hoped you'd trust me to make choices for the both of us. Oh god, you haven't understood what's wrong with this at all! Have you seen the uptake results Dr. Chigwa recorded? We've got over 95% success! The neural tissue development is going to be phenomenal! I don't give a damn about the results! We're only using one, maybe two, of the embryos we've got for the project. The other four are still stored at all receipts. It's not a matter of whether we can make more or not. We could have thousands of embryos on standby. It'd still be wrong. It's not the fact that we're engineering human embryos. It's that there are embryos. I spent two years weaponizing children. The fact that they were destined, doomed to a purpose. It's one thing to have your life affected by a quirk of genetics, but when you've been deliberately altered before birth to fit a role. I'd hoped that I'd escaped it, but seeing it with our own kids, it's just... I understand, Charlie. I'll talk to Dr. Vargas about it. He won't be happy. It sounds like he was counting on this. He'll just have to deal with it. We must be getting close to finding out what happened with Viksha and Baxter. How Baxter ended up killing her, or why he ended up killing her. I'm guessing it's related to the embryos. Perhaps she was going to go talk to Dr. Vargas about stopping the experiments and not using the embryos, and maybe he, Baxter found out about it and killed her, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out really soon, because it feels like that whole storyline's coming to a head. Anyway, I think this makes a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>